really quick impromptu video here. <laughs> so I'm building this battery pack and it's really cool. It works, it has wireless charging. And I recently got one of these wireless charging pads and it's supposed to do up to an amp, but just looking at the circuitry, probably a quarter of that, something like that, maybe half. Um, so I don't think this can give the full like five watts. But uh, I have this little Ardu board that I designed and made and it fits inside a Dreamcast VMU. And if I look, the circuitry fits almost exactly perfectly inside the Ardu board sh shell if I trim some of the plastic down. So my idea was actually turn this on, make a wireless charging Ardu boy. So it could just sit on top and it's charging right now. And as you can see, it turns on, everything's all good to go. You can even charge it while using it. <laughs> anyway, this was just a really super quick video. I will have a video up once I complete this. I'm adding a couple more features. There's a little bit of extra space you may have noticed in there, and I'm going to add a um, like a chip on board light. So this could be used as an emergency lamp or a phone charger or a wireless charger, whatever you need. Anyway, a video on this will be up soonish when I get all that finished. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to make a really quick video. And if you guys see, uh, basically it's a coil. And this little sticker part that's that's stuck on top is actually like a very thin ferrite sheet that it uses to concentrate the magnetism about the coil. And it's a micro, just a standard micro USB uh, on a flat flex ribbon. And here you can see the circuitry. It's a step up regulator, I'm guessing buck or boost maybe regulator to generate a regulator five volts out and some other miscellaneous circuitry, probably like a bridge rectifier because the uh, AC that it's going to be receiving is, uh, well, AC and it needs to convert it to DC. And oh yeah, these are actually pretty simple, pretty thin, so I should be able to actually jam that in there somewhere. I'm going to have to do something about that piezo, but uh, yeah, it's definitely thin enough it would fit inside. And the area of the actual pad itself is small enough it would definitely fit in there. Heck, you could even just tape it on the outside and it would work just fine. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really super random quick video, but I was just messing around and wanted to see if this would work, and it does.